a message every time somebody clicks on the record button. I think they're assuming that you're either going to verbally ask or you can go to the chat window and okay. send a chat message to the host asking. Okay. All right. Well, that anyway, I did put the allow record uh, through, Diane. So. And I'm recording. Okay, good. So here's what I want you to figure out at the end of today after this. See if you're able to save the recording, obviously, and then if you're able to cut it up. Okay. Um, because there's going to be a lot of things we don't necessarily need. Without people's permission, I'm not going to worry about questions and answers online anymore. Um, so just like Claire's presentation, and then I'll see how Bev and Mike's goes and my part goes and whether I want that up there or not. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll go with that. Um, but realistically, uh, here's what I really want to know, Jay. So Ina gets to her place around 6 or 6.15, whatever. She, by the time she gets all set up, say, say realistically, it's 6.30. And she's ready to make her connection. So if I make the meeting time like 6.15, mm -hmm. and then we just have it open and ready for people to click in. Okay, so her, Joan, whenever she's ready, mm -hmm. Diane. And say everybody's in at 6.30. And I make my meeting end time like 10 o'clock, mm -hmm. even though we know it's not going to go that long. <clears throat> can we, I can just stop their video, mute their microphones, and we don't have to do another thing hmm. until it's time for, to bring them in, correct? That, that's correct. And we won't lose that connection? You will not lose the connection. You just mute them. You have the connect and, and, and by the way, Zoom does not automatically stop a meeting at, at the end time. If you say this meeting is going to go from seven to nine or whatever, when nine o'clock rolls around, Zoom doesn't auto shut it down. I mean, okay. it, it'll, it's, you, it's not going to shut down until you, the host, you know, end the end the meeting. Okay. So a couple meetings I had what I was doing with Ina, Joan, another couple people here in town. I was getting like a warning: you have nine minutes left, eight minutes left. Maybe that's when I still had the free account. Correct. Okay. Yes. Now that I have the paid yeah. account, doesn't matter. You got, that's right. You got on the free account, you have the 40 minute. Uh, okay. Limit. All right. So I was concerned once we make that initial connection, we test volume with everybody, everybody can hear each other. Then we can just um, stop their video, stop the um, um, mute their microphones. Right. And Joan then can do whatever she wants to do in her room. Diane can do whatever she's going to do. Diana can do whatever you guys are going to do right. down there. Um, at some point when the prayer and pledge is done with all the groups, they're going to all click on, I can, I could turn them back on so they'll hear us. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to say, okay, Cincinnati, Columbus, you guys ready to go? Mm -hmm. Something to that effect. And I'm yep. going to want somebody just to give me a, like a thumbs up. You know, they don't even have to talk. They could stand in front of them, wherever the camera is, give me a thumbs up right. Right. and then we'll start our meeting. And then that point, I don't even have to, um, you know, we could stop their video again because we don't need to see them. We're not going right. to see you, Diane. We're not going to see all. We'll see this little box to the right says Diane Mueller. The same thing with Ina. Same thing with Joan. By the time we run through everything. But if you tell it to hide, not. See, when you stop their video, they become, quote, unquote, non-video participants in the meeting. So you don't even have to see that little box with their name in it. You can just click on that option that says hide non-video participants. And they're gone. It's like they're oh, not okay. even there. So they're I, still I, seeing I, you. They're still listening. But you're this, at that point, it's become a one-way, you know, presentation, basically. Oh, okay. Well, then that's what we want until like 8.30 or, well, say even 8.15, whenever it's time for Q&A. The only people involved in Q&A are our group and Ina's group. Mm -hmm. So right. then I would turn Ina's uh, – uh, what do I do there? Um, you, you Well, the first thing you do is – they they're gone because you're hiding them and this this is the one thing uh, i um the first time i did this i was kind of scratching my head what to do and then it, then i thought about it but it's not necessarily intuitive but they're gone so the only the only uh, video image on the screen is is yours so you go to those three little dots in the upper right hand corner of your image and on that menu is the option to once again show the non-video participants once you do that, you got them back with the little boxes with their name, and then you can send them a message, you know, and say, please start your video. You, just, right. you, you click to start their video, and that um, that sends them a, a message asking them to. You know, All right, on. so how do I, let's pretend it's 630 and we make the connections right now. So I'm, uh, you're Ina, and, and uh, Diane's, you know, Diane Jones not 
she's okay. she's not going to do it. It's just two meetings now. So what do I do? I'm in I'm in the well. Why don't you why don't why don't you start at, at the beginning of the topic? Why don't you go ahead and first of all uh, mute us both. Click on our micro. Click on the mute option. Um, as the host, I think. Let me see here. Oh, I, I got to go. All right, I went to the wrong place. Okay. All right, you're muted. Diane's muted. Okay. I muted both of you. I'm in that gallery view. Go, go to speaker view. Okay, I'll go to the speaker view. All right, now I'm in speaker view. I see you. Um, I don't. I see me in the upper right hand corner. So, hmm, why am I seeing you? Oh, unmute for a moment. Okay, hang on. Um, Okay, can you can you hear me? Okay, <laughs> we got we we were a little out of sequence on that because I wanted to give you a couple more instructions. And oh, okay. It was my fault because I told you to mute us. I wasn't thinking that <laughs> real clearly. Right. Um, so what I just did, Diane, is I privately sent him a chat message saying, "Please unmute me for a moment." <laughs> so, okay, so we, for, um, you're gonna you're gonna uh, stop the video and mute us both, um, and then then. Um, you click on one of our images because you're just going to see the black box with our name in it. You click on those little three dots and you can hide us so we don't even appear anywhere. Then the thing that you have to know um, ahead of time is that when you're ready to bring us back, you've got to go to your own image because yours is the only image left on the screen. Go up to those three little dots and click on show of non-video participants. That brings us back as as black boxes with names and at that point you can then unmute us uh and restart the uh, the video okay i'm not seeing on the, the three by the way i recommend that you stay in gallery view the whole time for, for as far as our meetings are concerned i wouldn't even mess with the speaker view i think that could become confusing well the speaker view this is what i want to practice though like we're having our meeting on monday yeah that's for speaker view right no no that's the, that that's going to be your uh, gallery. All we have to do is is uh, um, uh, pin the the video. Well, the, the the speaker view. The speaker view is basically what that does is it automatically cycles between whoever wherever the audio wherever the sound is is coming from. So I think what we want to do is just is just pin um, pin the speaker's video. Uh, um, and and then we'll you know mute everybody else. Um, you really don't have to go to speaker view to, to accomplish. What All you right. Want. So right now, when I'm seeing three squares on my TV on my screen, mm -hmm. you, Diane, and me. Right. Right. In the upper right hand corner, it says speaker view. I'm not in speaker view. I'm in gallery view. Right. Um, it's not what it is. It's showing on my upper right hand corner. Isn't yeah. that true? On the upper on the upper right hand corner, if it says speaker view, that means you click on it to get into speaker view. Right. That means uh, exactly. Yeah, so you're in you're I'm, back you're back in gallery view. Okay, that's where I've been. Yeah. Okay. So oh, that's where you've been. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I'm in gallery view, so I'm seeing all th all three of us. Right. And Sorry. every time somebody talks, a little yellow border shows Correct. up around there. Yeah. Correct. So now this is how we would make our connections when everybody's kind of checking in with everybody and we're testing our video like we did the other day and audio and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so then what do I do? It's 640 now. I want to, I want to. Hit speaker view. Right. Um, it's not really necessary to go to speaker view, although I, I, I guess, I guess you really could because the thing is if we're, if we have muted the other rooms, there's really no danger at that point that, um, um, hey, I'll tell you what, let's, let's try something. Um, I don't think you want people distracted by having their own image large on the screen. So that, that's what gallery view gives. Yeah, I want to put up, see, I want to start getting, I want to show my room something without you guys seeing it or hearing it. 
Like, what if I want to put a video on at 650? Really? How uh, can I do that? So you can tell, ask. He could stop our videos, right? Can he stop our video? Well, well no. If you're if you're going to, um, you you would do that by running the video outside of Zoom. Hmm. Okay. In other words, if you want only your room, if everybody, if you have other locations logged in and you want only your room to see a video, you're just going to run that video, not as a screen share in Zoom, but just, just run that application on that computer. Ah, okay. So what I do then is I get out of full screen shrink, after muting you guys and stopping your video. Then, then you just minimize the Zoom meeting. Minimize window. the Zoom and then pull up right. anything, play it. All right, I'm going to do that right now, and you tell me if you hear this. Well, you'd have to turn your microphone. You'd, you want to mute your microphone. Okay. All right, hang on. Let me go back to that. Uh, where did you go? We can still hear you. I know. I'm trying to find how to get you guys back. Picture. Look at the bottom. Oh, I know. I am looking at the bottom, and I don't. Um, do you not? Do you see our images now? No, not yet. Okay, put your cursor on your own image, and click the three oh, dots. Yeah, you were in the. Okay, wait a second. Okay. Three dots. And and do you have an option to show non? Wait a minute. We're not non-video. That wouldn't be it because we're. Yeah, mute my audio. Um, do you you don't see our images anywhere? I do. Yeah, I'm back in I'm back in gallery view. I, I pulled. Oh, okay. okay. It wasn't shrunk to the bottom. You guys are still in the upper right hand corner. Oh, okay. All right. So you mute my microphone and do it. Yeah, if you mute your microphone and then you you just minimize the zoom window and then bring up your your video, you can play it for your room and we won't hear or see any. All right, I'm gonna try that and you can tell me if you heard it and I'll come right okay. back. About thirty. Go seconds. ahead and go ahead and mute That's your mic. Okay, I'm back. Were you guys able to hear it? Nope. Okay, good. Well, then that worked. Um, normally what I do, Jay, I don't know if I told you this or not, I usually put a video on five or 10 minutes before my meeting, get everybody to the seats. Okay. It's worked really well for me because I got a big room, a couple hundred people there. They're always milling around, refreshments, bathroom, right. book tables. I got three book tables going. It's always yeah, a lot to get them. I put turn the lights down, pop the video on. All of a sudden, people make their way to the seats. They know I'm yeah. going to go. Make that uh, makes sense. Good I idea. Got, I got a four minute video, and I quite frankly, I've told Ian to do the same thing. I've told Joan to do the same thing, and I'm going to ask them to do the same thing again on Sunday. It's one less thing I have to worry about covering or or going. Uh, it's one less video I have to worry about sharing with everybody. Okay, they can easily do it. Turn it on five to seven and play it. And then I'll yeah. talk about it after the prayer and pledge. Yeah. And it's Brigitte talking to everybody about this America First rally that they're going to have on Sunday, Saturday, September 9th. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm glad we just did what we did because that was one of the things I couldn't get worked out the other day and I wanted to go over with everybody. But now I know there's a way to do it. And um, that that's good. And I can still continue to do that thing. And it's, it's, um, it advances everything. Now it's instead of spending five minutes after the prayer and pledge, I can get it mm -hmm. done ahead of, ahead of time. It accomplishes all the mm -hmm. goals I want. So, okay. <clears throat> um, so I'm going to do that. Shoots video. Okay. Um, so I would play that video. We would do our prayer and a pledge. Then I come back to where I'm at right now. So it's a speaker or it's a gallery view i could see everybody then i would say okay and i would and the, uh, my room sees it big deal they see everybody 
I ask for a thumbs up. You can hear me and see me, everybody. They do that. Then I just go to um, what? Manage participants for everybody? Or do so I go to manage participants for and, and cl click on the mute, the microphone mute so that they're muted and then turn off their video. Uh, but uh, each, each person? For each person, right. Okay, so go to Diane, mute, and then you said stop video? Mm hmm All right. Okay, so that did you, and mm -hmm. now I'm going to Diane, or let's see, I'm, I'm muting you, and I'm going to go to Jay, no, where am I going, Diane, I'm going to stop video okay Diane's gone so now I see just you guys then I switch to speaker view I'm in the upper right hand corner but I still see Jay's um, my screen says Jay Gronke lot that's big and so let's do this That's Diane, you're unmuted. Jay, you're unmuted. All right. Uh, okay, okay. I just sent you a message to unmute me. Okay, yeah. that's why you don't want to switch to speaker view because okay. I think the and from your standpoint, I think you're it's remembering. Uh, it doesn't show you yourself when you're speaking. It remembers the last person that was speaking before you, and so the, the reason you don't want to go into speaker view is really that is the reason. Because once you turn off our video and you've set that little thing that says hide non non video participants automatically your video fills up the whole screen. So you're automatically essentially in speaker view for your location, but you didn't have to click on speaker view. That's that was my concern. It could be confusing because um, it's going to uh, it's going to remember that last speaker and you may not get, you know, the one that you want. Okay, so don't I noticed that bef before before the uh, excuse me, we were we I was in speaker view. Dan was the speaker. Jay, you and I were up as little name boxes, no videos yet. And but I could you we at least you were unmuted, Jay. And as soon as Dan activated our, well, unmuted us and turned our videos back on, we were we were right back where we needed to be. Mm -hmm. So I'm yeah. not sure where the problem is. I mean, where what what? Well, the problem the problem was on his end. He had switched into speaker view. Uh, let me let me. But didn't he, didn't he see our names up at the top? Little black boxes with our names in white. Um, well, he he would have up until he told it to hide those boxes. Uh, oh, yeah. why would he tell it to hide those boxes? To to avoid any because he's he's the presentation location and when when hit when Claire is a Claire Lopez. Yeah. Okay, so when that that just gets rid of any distraction, you know, and the only thing every everybody is seeing is her PowerPoint and, and her video, you know, her speaking. There aren't any boxes or anything on the screen. They're just, they're just hidden. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute when I show you a PowerPoint, Diane. Okay. You'll okay. see that what I'm talking about in but, a minute. But, uh, but, but let me just go back, Dan. The, the really, the whole reason for what they refer to as speaker view, that's designed for interactive conversations, whether you've got three or four or five or 10 or however many people, and, and you're just talking back and forth, a, a, a traditional classic video conference. And when you're in speaker view, the one who is speaking at that moment gets big and everybody else is, you know, small okay. and top. And it just goes back and forth. That's All what right. speaker view is really for. So, so let's, thing, just, let's thing gallery view. view doesn't exist. Keep it in, in, gallery, in gallery view. All the time. Okay. So mute, stop video, stay in gallery view, and then proceed right along whatever I want to do. Yeah, because once you turn off our video and hide us, automatically your video fills the screen and that that's everything is, is concentrated on your video. Got it. Okay. What I'm going to do for the purposes for today is I'm going to not un, I'm not going to mute you. So yeah. we can continue to communicate. Right. I do know how to do that. I'll stop the video. So I'm not seeing you guys and I'll mm -hmm. see just myself 
in the upper right hand corner along with the presentation whatever i'm going to show you so whatever i pull up mm -hmm. you're going to tell me if you see it or not okay all right diane ready okay so let's go here all right so jay should be gone and then diane should be gone okay i'm going to full screen now i'm gonna go don't forget to mute us all right now what i'm seeing on no, my... he wants us to be able to still talk no i want to still hear from uh, yeah. yeah 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 you can just tell me if you see what i'm i'm, I'm gonna ask oh, okay. you what you see okay yeah. i'm sorry now, so what i see though is the three windows up with your name and jay's name right equal size windows so how do i get that to go to the right hand side so i'm not seeing any do i have to share a screen uh yes if you if you do a screen share they're going to go over there automatically okay so let's do that dan ramada has started screen sharing All right. Boy, we need to fix that um, Act for America logo. All right, so I see. All right, I don't see myself on the screen. I just see the logo. Do you guys see the logo? I see. Yeah, I, I see you and the logo. And okay. I, 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 and I see the gallery view off to the right. It's docked off to the right, and uh, the big logo. Got it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, all right, Jay. This was the question I had. This, so the, now I'm going to advance. This is my PowerPoint. This is the first slide. Okay. And now it's the. Um, and you should see my power slide advancing. Correct. Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's suppose that right now um, you should see a screen that says call Senator Portman, tell him the co-sponsor said Senator Senate Bill 68, right? Yes. Okay, now I want to go to a video. Do I hit stop share or do I hit pause share? Your video is, is not uh, it's not part of your PowerPoint presentation? Not part of the PowerPoint, but I'm going to want to come back to the PowerPoint. Okay, you're going to want to... Um, um, Stop share. But you want to share this video with all of the locations, right? Correct. Okay. Um, you're going to want to do a... Um, an, why, don't a new, you in, why don't you embed it in the in the PowerPoint? As long as the video is somewhere on your computer, you can embed it into your PowerPoint, and it will. It, and you won't have to be jumping around from. Well, it's a it's a YouTube video that I don't have the program to download it yet. Um, I had one, but then oh. it started acting up, so I got rid of it. Oh, okay. I go straight to YouTube. All right. Let's, let's edge it. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. So anyway, do I stop share or pause share, Jay? Well, actually, neither. You would want to get, click on New Share, which is um, going to immediately bring that video to your screen. Okay. Where, and then that, that will automatically stop the PowerPoint share. Now, theoretically, if your PowerPoint is, is just sitting there, you know, it, it shouldn't change what slide you're on. So when you're done with the video, you should be able to click new share again and go back to the PowerPoint and it should yep. be where it was, I think. There okay. she is. There's right. a So new share brought up Brigitte, that same video, yeah. right? And it was completely seamless. I mean, that immediately the video showed up and the PowerPoint went away. We it did we didn't see you fiddling around with it or anything. That's why you, you want to use the new share option. And All you right. may you may want before you start sharing you know, before you get all of us involved, you may want to do the, the full screen so we don't see all the, you know, uh, making the sausage here on YouTube. We would just see Brigitte's video. You know, well, the problem there is here, I'll go back to where I was then. So let's just put new share to get back to the PowerPoint, Jay. Yeah. Well, right. Right, right now. Right. Hang on, Diane. So here. Here's the PowerPoint, right? Yes. Yep. 
So what you're saying is for people still to see this and for me to go be able to do what I just pulled up without anybody seeing me do it to get new, it to full screen. New and, share. Go ahead. New share, right? New share, correct. Right, but then what's it going to do? It's going to go back to Brigitte. Try it. I'm seeing new share. It shows me, yeah. So then when I see, what I see right now is a window with options for me. Desktop, PowerPoint, another. Um, yeah. Um, and, and once you once you uh, once you choose one of those and then click the you know the begin the start button at the lower right of that little window, it's going to switch back. Okay. Um, all right. So I I'm doing it now. It pulls up this page. This is my Chrome browser, and I have it open to several windows. Several. Three, three videos there that I can click on an email program that I want to work in. Oh, yeah, I see the tabs at the top, yeah. Yeah, these tabs. These are all different things I want to show. Right, so that's that's good to have that set up ahead of time. Right, so I can't just pull this up at full screen. Why not? Well, you can temporarily. Sure. Well, I will now. I, I mean, no, you're seeing me work. You would just see me work and go like this. Right. That's what, you, this, you're not going to get this right away, Diane. I don't have it that way. Okay. Now, when you're finished, you could exit full screen. Right. It's not okay. a big. It's not a big deal. All right. So let me play this video. Let me let me get this back to where I was. Okay? Did you remember to click on the little box that said "Share Computer Sound"? Uh, no, I didn't. Where's that at? Okay, you're gonna have to stop the share then, um, and then yep. and then when you the when you first click on the green share button before you select what it is you want to share. At the bottom left is that little checkbox. Hmm. On this, by the share screen? Yeah, as soon as you click on the green share screen, look at the smaller window that it gives you, and the little checkbox, bottom left, share computer sound. Yeah, hang on, I'm making myself a note. Yep. I'm recording all of this, Dan. Good, share computer sound. All right, so this is, um, when you're, this window that pops up, it says select the window or an application that you wanna share. Um, is that your share screen like option window for all the different that's, that's that basically zoom is looking at all the different applications that are active on your computer right and you're gonna select one of them that you want to share I understand. what would we call this window that pops up though does it have a name I would say it would be the screen share selection window I guess okay screen share yeah yes. and by the way depending on how many things you have active on your computer it's possible you might on that selection window you might get a little scroll bar on the right side. Yeah, I know, and I'm going to try to simplify this. I have, um, um, you know, desktop of course, whiteboard which is always there, iPhone, right. iPad, the, the the Chrome browser, my PowerPoint, um, my PowerPoint full slide, my PowerPoint smaller slide, Dropbox setup which I don't need there, and I don't need Skype which ought, these two things automatically load. I don't want them to automatically load. So um, that'll simplify. Plus, if we're using Greg's computer, I have no idea what's on his. I got to yeah. make yeah. time. Okay, so now I've checked that box, and I'm going to play it. So go to share screen. To to your, your, your Chrome browser. Okay, do you guys see the video playing? See it, but we don't hear it. Hmm. Really? Did you hear it, Jay? No, I didn't. Mm -mm. Um, we should have if if you check that little box. Um, this worked fine the other day when we were doing it. Is your vol? Is the volume up on the video? Yeah. Hang on one second. All right, let me try this again. Share screen. Okay, now it's gonna do, okay, it didn't, uh, the box must not have been checked, I'll try it now. Okay.
All right, do you see the video? Yep. If you are- Yep, we got it. Now we hear it. Okay, so it didn't, um, I had to check it again, Jay. Uh, so remember our question the other day, whether one session was good all the time? But this time I had to check mark it again. Okay, we'll just make a habit of looking at that every time. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so now that video is played, and I'm done with that video. Mm -hmm. So I could close that window, that tab right on my screen to make it simple. Uh, hit stop share, or do I go to new share to come right back to the PowerPoint? Is that what, do you want to go back to the PowerPoint? Yes. Then any, if you're going to go to another share, always use new share. Okay, new share. See the PowerPoint? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I worked my way through the PowerPoint. Now all of a sudden I want to play another video. And so now I'm going to go to new share. Oh, now they'll check mark the boxes check marked. I'm going to play another video. And how do I get rid of this? I'll move it to the bottom. Okay. Very good. Okay. Atlanta, the city of Dari Zaraf, in Wallah, and the Shittalqat. Da Zaraf, the Wallah, the city of Biyan, the Shittalqat, the Qatluk, the Qatluk, the Qatluk. You see a video playing? Yes. Yeah, we yeah we see it and hear it. Okay, good. All right, that's a trailer of the video that we're going to be showing in September. That we're going to have all the chapters I asked to invite pastors, priests, and rabbis to. Good. Maybe they'll show in their church about Christian persecution in the Middle East. It's a 30 sec, 30 second video, and then that'll preview uh, what I'm talking about, when our next meeting is, et cetera, and what you know, what we're doing. Um, so that's why when I'm talking about bouncing between the PowerPoint, I'll have a slide prepared for this, and then I'll say, okay, let's watch the trailer. Um, and I understand what you're saying, Diane, about embedding these videos. Um, I, I ran into trouble with YouTube Downloader program I used to do that all the time okay and then for whatever reason my videos kept getting screwed up they weren't playing in proper sequence like the, okay. the lips weren't were moving and the volume wasn't uh, mm. staying with it I don't know if I played it too many times or, or, or who knows but mm. whatever so I just decided to go right to YouTube anyway so this so this is done now I um, get out of here I hey, keep it there for just a second okay uh, Diane, do you see in the, in the extreme upper right corner, you might have to move your mouse for it to show up, extreme upper right corner, the, the four arrows, which is basically going into full screen mode. Do you see that, Diane? Oh, uh, yes, it's underneath my camera. Uh, yes. I so if you click that yes. full screen mode, what should happen is um it's it's offering me the option to exit full screen okay but also the the video and you might have to click on the on the four dot the four squares to see dan but his video should now be over at the side no i'm i'm seeing oh, now he's okay now he's in full yeah i took it out of full screen now it should be back to full screen exit full i can exit full screen now Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, do you guys see my uh, window on the right hand side or anywhere with me talking in it? You're up at the top. You're you're at the very top. But if but if any of us, if either of us switch on our own, not no, no not something you do, but if we, if on our own we switch to full screen, then you move over to the side and we can. Okay, but the whole this whole time. You should see the image of the young man in the video with his arms like in front of him. That's correct. And we and see then, you. We see you talking to us up in the center top above. Okay. Because yeah. I don't see me. So what I'm wanting to know is my room won't see me either at the podium talking. Right. Okay. And you're so open. The, That's the way you want it, right? Yeah. So they won't see Claire either when she's talking. Yeah. There, there's a way we can, we can, we can do that. Um, yeah, you know how like when you see something on TV or like a big conference uh, yeah. happens at a hall, ballroom or something, yeah. the speaker is uh, will be up on screens or even at a church for that matter. Yeah. Um, yes. So how would we make that work? 
That's a good one. Uh, let me I, let me play with it a little bit, Dan, because I was working with it uh, yesterday, and I think I had that working. Yeah. So all right, if we don't, it's not the end of the world. No big deal. Um, yeah, because I'll still be able to see her. But the point is, you could see us. Yeah. And now, now, and this is what I couldn't get through to Greg the other day when he was thinking, well, we'll just just leave the camera where we had it. And I said, no, then they, what pe the people are seeing in the other room, they wouldn't even see my face or Claire's face or anything. They would see like a big, you know, part of the screen, part of the, the curtain, the desk, you know, that he's. No, you definitely want to have the camera in tight on your speaker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. All right, so you guys can see it. That's good. All right, so I'm going to stop this um, uh, video and I'm going to go to a um, email here. This is what I wanted to show you. One of the things I can do now, Diane, when you say, well, what, what aren't they seeing in your room that you want them to see? Mm -hmm. All right. Do you see me working in my email program? Yes. I do. Yeah. Okay, good. And so I would recommend that for your, for your uh, setup ahead of time is just have that one, have that email open so you I don't will. have to miss it. I will. Exactly. And the point is, uh, you just answered my question. Because I'm working all in the same browser here, Mm -hmm. have all these tabs open. I didn't have to make it a new share. I can switch back and forth between all these things. That's right. Okay. So this is a video or an email I sent to myself from, through Constant Contact this is just before the meeting here. Um, updated it August 5th, two days away because we're two days away from the meeting. And this is what I'm going to show people. Um, this is a huge problem for me. It's a small problem for Ina. Um, and a little problem for a tiny problem for Joan right now based on just the numbers of people in our chapters We've asked people for years to forward our emails And so people will n normally do this. They'll see their email and they'll say okay. I'll forward this to my my little Existing group yes. and they'll hit the forward button and then they'll type in you know Diane and you could see I got Diane and then I'll top type in Jan and uh, something it gives me, did you mean William? Sure, I'll do him. And then it'll give me suggestions or, you know, maybe it'll say Cheryl. And the point is now all of a sudden I've got this loaded with like 10 people. And some people will know to do this, get rid of this or not. Oh. They'll leave that. that, that oh, really? They don't? They don't, they don't yeah, a lot of people will come forward. Yeah, they'll leave that in. But then they'll just scroll to the bottom. Oh my. And then they'll hit the send button. Yes. And the problem with that is constant contact, as well as I don't care if it's ACLJ or if it's um, 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 Numbers USA, uh, Center for Security Policy. I mean, you name it. Any of the organizations that you know we want to share information for, uh, you know, anything. Yeah. If you don't go down here and highlight this part right here, save, unsubscribe. And then delete it like I just did. Oh, so that's. You have to do that when you don't use this forward button um, through their mail. When you oh. send it through your own browser. Because then what happens is I would hit send and that would go to whoever I sent it. Then they turn around and send it to 10 of their friends. Got and then it. they send around to 10 of their friends and vice versa. It just continues to go down the line. All it takes is for one person to get this and see that unsubscribe and says, oh, I don't want any of this nonsense, hits the unsubscribe button, up pops a window, and then you, they hit submit. And what it actually did was it unsubscribed the original email recipient. Oh, yeah, because that's, because that's what's embedded into that email. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it can go 50 generations down the line. Yep. One person not paying attention unsubscribes this person. Well, in this case, at Cleveland at Gmail. Yeah, that's a very good yeah. <laughs> So everybody in this, all three rooms needs to hear this. This is so important to understand. Yeah. And what happens is I get a notice from uh, Constant Contact um, every Wednesday. And it says, these people unsubscribe. And I'm looking at this list. I'm going, there's no way they would unsubscribe. I know who that is. Mm -hmm. And then I either have to call the person or send them an email, hope that they respond to me, and then says, did you want to unsubscribe? Well, of course no. Why would I unsubscribe from you? I go, well, here's how it probably happened. Then it becomes a series of about three emails back and why forth. Don't you do, why don't you send do this uh, 
for, for at the meet, time of the meeting, why don't you present this as a PowerPoint where you can scroll through and, and show people in big screen. You know what I'm this saying? Is, this right? is the point where this is what we're doing right now. Okay. So this is a PowerPoint. Well, this is my email program. I'll show it's right in the email program. There it is. You can't see it big. Yeah. Well, could be bigger. That's all right. Well, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, then it takes work for me to create a PowerPoint on it. That's but, true. That's um, true. What I'm trying to do is make it simple. I mean, I get this as the latest email. Everybody will have gotten this. Like, they're going to get it. I'm going to send out a reminder tomorrow. All right, Dan, here. This yeah. is, try this. Um, go down. Uh, go to the, let's see, where were you? All right, see, right, right there. All right, stay right where you are. Hold your, hold your mouse down and scroll to make the screen bigger do you know how to do that control button and make the screen bigger do you know how to do that uh no do you have a roll a roller on your mouse i do all right hold the control key down with your left hand okay and press down the, the roller button and roll forward zoom oh zoom. okay uh, I just did a little bit. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little a little too much. Okay, yeah. practice that. That way, anybody that had, because you're dealing with a lot of old people. All right. All right. So make it right. make it bigger. Yeah, okay. Again, I need, I see what you're saying. I need to figure this out, and I also need to show, make Greg can do this. And practice this. And then, so right now, you can take see your mouse, bigger. take your mouse, Dan. You can see this much bigger. No, all right. Dan, listen. Yeah. Take your mouse and highlight, safe subs unsubscribe, highlight it. Right. And now make it bigger. And then you can say, don't touch this. Well, I want them to touch it. I want them to delete it. Well, all right, do what, it, I'm sorry, whatever you want. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I can see it fine. I mean, this is essentially a, 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 it's a perfectly large image, but yes, but you I'm and I, I, I I'm at my computer, and if, when you're in a big room with people right. sitting in the audience, I, I think some people might have a hard they're time. Not gonna, they're not going to be able to see yeah. it. Yeah. Well, the other thing I'm the other thing I'm going to do is tell them I'm going to send them an email explaining yes. all of this, um, and then I can take some screenshots of this. Yes, uh, you know, exactly. that in the email. So I'm going to work on that. But this is and remind me, and I'll I'll put something up on on the website. Yeah. All right. So this is one of the things I want to accomplish on Monday. So this is why I want to share it to all everybody in the room. Okay. And see, I know these people are doing it, not only from, I get the notices from constant contact that they're unsubscribing, but then when I see them send me emails, mm. it could be a fundraiser for Sarah Fowler for the State Board of Education. Yeah. And on the bottom of their emails or for Josh Mandel or anything, they're not taking the time to delete the unsubscribe portion. So somebody for that can unsubscribe them from that. Um, I mean, and I got my favorite cast of characters in our in our group that are the, the worst offenders and I'm not going to embarrass them and call them out <laughs> but, <laughs> well, you, you could you could do that and and then they will never do it again well I've told them enough private conversations but it's still it's still um, important and then for me the reason for me to Cincinnati to really get this is because the girl who was taking care of constant contact with them is no longer taking care of constant contact. So mm -hmm. I'm actually doing the one for them too. So I've got double the workload now. Um, well, I shouldn't say that because their chapter is not as big as ours, but still, it's still a long, you know, it's still, still more work, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the things. So, but we just answered my question. The big thing is I'm able to go back and forth in, in Chrome here to whatever window I have open and yeah and so then i and then so then i would go back to my powerpoint make it a new share come back to the powerpoint you should see claire's picture now on the powerpoint yep yes. you got it okay so i'll be reading her bio etc and then um she's just going to remain up there and then she says okay she's talking or whatever and then she says, okay, we're going to take a look. Um, she goes to new share. And then we pull up. Should have her PowerPoint. Female genital mutilation. Mm. 
banned by U.S. law, obligatory. It's a blue screen. Do you see that? Yes. Yep. yep. And, you, and you still see me talking? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Well, that's pretty much it. So bouncing back and forth between the videos, that email that I want to explain, the, um, uh, the two PowerPoints, which I'll have things to talk about in my PowerPoint. When Bev and Mike talk, they're going to have nothing to show, so we'll just leave the PowerPoint up probably. Um, and, or maybe I'll make a slide up that, that, that illustrates what they're talking about, their name and what their, their subject is. That way it'll be really simple. Um, and it'll keep me on track in order. That's, that's the kind of thing I work, I work on tomorrow to put, all, put it all together, the little schedule. Then I'll send that agenda to Ina and to Joan and you, Diane, so you can kind of follow along um, as we're moving through the meeting. And then, uh, Diane, you can give me feedback during the week if you noticed we could have done something better or, or you know, something, okay. um, you know, because you'll have a handle on um, and barring any. And I'll record it. Make sure. That exactly. And then barring on un any unforeseen stuff on um, Greg's part that I don't know about, um, you know, then I'll, um, I think we should be good, at least for this. Okay. This time. So. But you guys answered my questions. You're able to see me, all those things. I'm able to make it all work. I, I made myself the notes, the little things I got to do. Mm -hmm. I can oversee Greg. Um, would, uh, me being able to stand at the podium, turn around and see the, our, our screen, I don't care if everybody sees what we're doing. We'll get to a smooth, yeah. smooth. It's okay. It helps me direct him and say, go to the second thing on your right or the third thing down. Instead of walking back behind the what I had to do last meeting or with these Skypes, I'd have to walk behind the curtain to where he's positioned behind the screen, look over his shoulder at his screen and go, go here, pull, yeah. this, up, pull yeah. this next video up, you know, that sort of thing. So. It'd be nice right. if you could have a little different podium set up, different scenario up, just, up on the main screen. Just cut out. Stage. So. Where you. Hey, did you hear her? Yeah, I heard her. So, but anyway. Yeah. I can't hear you guys. Oh, okay. We're, uh, we're not muted. Can't hear us at all? It could, it, hmm. Okay. All righty. I didn't hear you there. Can, can oh, you hear God, now? that's okay. It was. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. No, no big deal. All you right. got a bad connection somewhere, Dan, because I'm hearing hum. So I don't know if it's where your headset's plugged in or something's going on. All right. Oh, I hear it too. You hear the hum? Yeah. What would that be? I haven't heard it the whole time. And now right after you couldn't hear her and then you messed around with something and then we. Yeah, I just moved my microphone or my moved my headset. Oh, we just lost you. Yeah. We lost your voice. You're, you're not talking. Yeah, you're not. There's, you have, you're sending no audio now. You got a bad connection, a jack or a plug or something. <laughs> Adios. See ya.